Welcome back, guys, to Trails from Zero, where last episode, after finishing the St. Ursula sweep and taking out some of the new road foes, we returned to the city and continued the Chapter 4 Day 1 patrol through the harbor, picking up a new recipe, the IBC, where we witnessed Lecter and Dieter to hanging out, the back alley, and the admin district. After a bit of cooking and reading the final chapter of Mark and the Witch of the Deep Forest, we now take on another support request. And that was Mark and the Witch of the Deep Forest. Complete. Now, support request time. Hi again, Uncle Miles. Ah, uh, Lloyd, it's good to see you. If I'm not mistaken, you must be here for... Yep, we're here for work. I believe you sent a request to the SSS for help, right? Ah, uh, just as I thought. Glad you guys came so quickly. Thank you. I'm in your debt. The request said that you needed help locating and retrieving some overdue books again. Yep, this isn't the first time I've requested this of you. Let's get to it, shall we? Allow me to explain the details. Yeah, of course. Splendid, you're doing me a huge favor. You see, several of our patrons have yet to bring in their overdue books. I'm terribly sorry, but I'd like for you to relocate and return them to me at once more. It seems that there are a fair number of people who need a lesson in punctuality. Well, no big deal. We can take care of this lickety split. How about that? I'm afraid it won't be as si quite as simple as this time. Would you mind elaborating? Each person with an overdue book lives outside of Croswell City. They're all spread out on the outskirts of the state. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you at least have their addresses? I sure do. First up is Alfred, who lives in Armorica Village. We've heard about that. Next is Logie, the miner lives in Mines. Last, we have Flora, a resident of St. Ursula Medical College. They really are on the outskirts. Man, you're telling me we've got to go all over the state for some books. How irksome. They could not just follow the rules in the first place. Now, now, this isn't so bad. We really would try to tackle the issue ourselves, but it's too far out of our reach this time. So would you mind taking care of this for your dear old uncle? On the bright side, we can use my car if we head out right now. Then it won't be too much of a trek, right? That's not a bad idea. Sounds like we would be relying on you to drive us around, Sergeant Major. All right then, I think it's time we get a move on. Great, thank you. Please return to me once you've collected all three books. Counting on you, everyone. Statewide overdue book retrieval. I mean, we haven't even used a car once. <laughs> this time everyone's scattered around the outskirts of the state, so take all the time you need. Please return to me once you've collected all three books. Off we go then. Right, so let's go out East Street first. From Armorica, it is. Right, where is your tank then? Or car, whatever it is, armored car. We just keep taking the bus everywhere. <laughs> Can I actually take her car anywhere? Wait a second. Oh, I was just wondering if that gave me the option to fast travel. I don't even know. But we know who we're talking to. Excuse us, are you Alfred? Yes, that's me. Oh, the special support section. You were the one who searched the ancient battlefield for that couple, right? Do you need something from me? Yes, sir. You see, we're working on a request we received from the library. We came to collect an overdue book from you. Do you have any idea where it is? Oh, that. I apologize for being so careless. That's very unlike me. Give me just a second. I've got it right here. Oh, wasn't that simple? Uh, sir, did you by chance lose it? I, I wouldn't say lost per se. It's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, now where did I leave it? All right. Goffan, you still have that book I let you borrow the other day? A book? Yes, a book. That book. You told me you'd like to give it a read, so I let you borrow it. Oh, that book. Yes, I remember now. Sorry about that. Let me go find it for you. Let me get this straight. You let someone borrow a book that you borrowed from the library. What is that? Relending? Careless is what it is. <laughs> I'm ashamed, I assure you. Normally I'd never do such a thing. So many books to read, I'm afraid that one must have slipped my mind. Goffan, did you find the book? About that. What? How could you have possibly lost it? Uh, <laughs> so... Just wait a second, please. I'll try to remember what I did with it. I've got it. If I'm not mistaken, I accidentally let a customer borrow it after he wouldn't stop badgering me about it. What? How would you accidentally lend someone a book? re re relending I can't say I was expecting this turn of events. This is unbelievable. Who exactly did you lend it to? It was Elkin, the guy who's always tinkering with the orbital truck near the front of the village. Oh, I messed up big time. Please forgive me. D don't worry about it. What's done is done. You just have to roll with it. Okay, everyone, let's find Elkin and see if he has it. <laughs> My god. 
Coffin led the book to Elkin. The guy who's always messing with the orb will trap near this village entrance. Sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry, everyone. I know this has cost you a lot of time and effort. Indeed it has. When you think about it, not really that much. Excuse me, are you Elkin? Ah, oh, that's right. Need something. We're from the CPD. You have time without speak if you have something. That's not a good sentence to lead with. Lord explained they were here to collect an overdue book. Oh, yeah, I borrowed that book. Do you have it on you by chance? Well, funny thing that. May have lent it to someone. Are you serious? Damn, it's getting ridiculous. Are we re 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 lending now? I wasn't expecting this. I'm just wondering what sort of book would get passed around like this. It's pretty unbelievable at this point. I I'm so sorry. I know I messed up. It's just he wanted to read the book so badly, I let him borrow it against my better thinking. You've got to understand. I'd ain't have done it. <laughs> I'd ain't have done it, sure. If I knew it was going to turn out like this. But please, calm down. I mean, it'd be better if you hadn't let it out, but it's in the past now. Who exactly did you give it to? Um, sorry about that. Um, it was Donald, one of the farmers. If you're looking for him, I start his house. It's right next to a general store. Well, everyone, let's hope that this is the final stretch. I was slightly worrying that he was going to, like, lend it to, like, Lecter or something there when he said that. To be impulsive that you just have to read it. Excuse me, are you Donald by any chance? Yep, that's me. You'll need something. We're from the Crossbell Police Department. Do you have a minute? Lord explained they were collecting overdue books. Ah, so that's why you're here. But if that's the case, you ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. Oh, oh no. Not again. Re, 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 re lending. What is the deal with people these days? Just return the damn thing to the library. What? No, I didn't lend it out to nobody. I read it when I had a bit of downtime on the farm. Thing is, my memory's kind of foggy as to where I left the darn thing. So I might have lost it. No, no way. After all of this searching, we thought all the re-lending was bad, but it somehow got even worse. Do you have any idea where you could have left it? Yeah, I think so. Last time I remember having it was in the shed over by the apiary. The one right out front of the chief's house? I was reading in there at the time. Can't really recall where it might have got to after that, though. I'm really sorry for the trouble, y'all. <sighs> Nothing we can do about it now. If that book is going to be anywhere, that shed is our best bet. Let's go check it out and put an end to this wild goose chase. Re 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 re. Re. It's the only way to deal with this right now. Ark and shell. Ark and shell enthusiasts. There's a library stamp. This must be our overdue book. Phew. That turned into quite the search. I can't say I was expecting it to end up being an Ark and shell fan book though. It certainly seems in demand. Oh yeah, it's about Ark and shell after all. Of course, half the city state's gonna want to get their hands on it. Hell, I've got half a mind to take it home and start flipping through it myself. You are free to check it out after we have returned it to the library. Thanks. What's it saying? It. Ark and Shell. There isn't a person alive in Crossbell who doesn't know that name. Since the time they opened their theater in Crossbell City's entertainment district, Ark and Shell has whipped citizens into a frenzy countless times. Fans are not limited to just Crossbell. Ark and Shell has made the name for itself in several neighboring countries. On the stage of the Ark and Shell Theater, the performers are called artists, and they each ha can display incredible feats of physical skill, giving rise to unbelievable performances. We would be remiss not to talk about the presence of Ilya Pladier. She is said to be the greatest star in the history of Ark and Shell. It goes without saying that Ilya's skill as a performer far exceeds that of her already talented troop mates. She has an overwhelming presence that commands the atmosphere of both the stage and the hall. Ilya's performance is utterly mesmerizing. She seamlessly brings the audience and stage together as one. It cannot be described. It must be seen live. Ark and Shell has announced their new show this year will be titled Golden Sun Silver Moon. Rumors are that a promising newcomer will debut. Who knows what the future of Ark and Shell has in store? Fans are excited and speculation season is in full swing. This is a true crime? Yeah, I should take them all down to the CPD and jail them, right? This is the only balanced and measured outcome, right? I'm really gonna have to like re-ratify where I found those things and write them down. This fish. I keep passing the fishing guy going like, uh, I don't know if there is one out there, but... On the quest. We need to get rid of these re-re-re-lenders. They make me re-re-re. Here's actually the things at the bottom. It should take me where I need to be. Oh, 
I have no clue from where your vehicle is. So buses all the way. How is this day so long? I'm actually quite surprised. Excuse me, are you Flora? That's right. Do you have some sort of business with me? We're from the Crosswell Police Department, Special Support Section. I actually came to collect your overdue library book, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, so that's what this is about. Uh, the thing is, I do want to return it, but... Are you implying you can't? Yes, well... See, I like to grab medical textbooks from the Research Wars reference room. And study here. But from the look of it, I must have mixed out my library book with the textbooks. I was putting them back on the bookshelf in the reference room. But so I realized that, I kind of forgot where exactly I put it. Brilliant. Well, I guess that leaves us no choice. I'll feel for it, though. I always lose track of where I put my mags. It feels though you leave your you leaving your swimsuit magazines around this SSS building is quite a bit different from this, Randy. Now, now, guys. Anyway, the Oju book should be one of the reference room shelves, right? Yes, I'm sure of it. Sorry about this, but do you mind finding it for me? You can find the research ward on the hospital's roof, okay? Don't worry, we know the place. Ready, everyone? You see, I like to grab... Yeah, you do. How dare you do this? How dare you? Which is the reference room, by the way? I take it it's the room where the... Uh, well, it's over here, right? No! Okay. I thought there were books. I am wrong. Wait. Use your brain, Sam. You must have seen a room with books. In Crossbell somewhere. I mean, in the hospital somewhere. Why are you not understanding where this is? What is going on with your brain? Guessing it's not here. Where's the reference room? You're not going to tell me. I actually don't know where the reference room is. I'm trying to think, where have I seen books in this place? Again, didn't she tell me? No, she didn't tell me anything. Tell me where the uh, reference room was. Oh, it's in the research ward. No wonder I've never seen a blooming reference room. Weirdly, I did not think I was going to go there. I was working up towards it, though. First floor reference room. This is the research ward's reference room, right? So our floor got the overdue book mixed up with the other books on one of those shelves. Here we go. Yeah, it's a lot more than I was expecting. This may take a while. What a waste of time. It's all a part of the job. No choice but to tear apart this place and find the sucker, eh? Right, let's give this our best shot, everyone. I'll help out too. I reckon it's right here. Fortunately, floor was overdue, but wasn't there. No! Not here either. I thought it'd be in the corner. No. 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 Hey, the best way to use five minutes. Wait a second. Yeah, there's the library stamp. It's supposed to be the book Flora checked out. We did it. Thank goodness it was here after all. I need to recharge. Well, our job's become a heck of a lot easier now that we found it. Exactly. Ready to move, everyone? Oh, no. We, we got kicked right out. So what is the best way to use five minutes? <laughs> Table of contents. Preface. Control five minutes, control your life. One. Effective ways to use five minutes. How do you get time in excess? What can you do with just five minutes? How do you use your five extra minutes? Two. Advanced usage of five minutes. Should you study or should you rest? Preface. Doing chores, working, playing, every human activity comes with inherent cost. Time. If I had more time, I could do more things. We've all been in such a situation, dear reader. Consider. Time is the same for everybody. Have you observed a peer who effectively uses their time compared to those around them? Time is not something that you have, but something that you make. Those who are making the best of their time won't let even five minutes slip them by. I'm sure. It's the quickest way down off the roof now. I feel like it's here, actually. Brown. 
We found it. We're ignoring you now. I had enough of this. Back to Crossbell City. Alright, the next one is out to mines. Oh, I can't do the warp from here. Oh, look, your car! I shot it. That must be your car, Sergeant Major. I suppose we've got enough rides that I should be able to recognize it by now. Yeah, this baby's mine. The CGF light armored car can handle any kind of terrain thrown at it. Oh, well, light armored is true enough. The thing looks like it'll crumple as soon as an actual tank so much as looked at it. The only thing it could really hold up against is, uh, probably a Gatling gun at best. Ah, oh, hey, that's not very nice. Our armored cars are equipped with the latest technology, you know. Well, Crosswell doesn't have any tanks of its own. Relying on maneuverability might be our best chance of defense. True. Also, I seem to recall that Crosswell doesn't have any patrol airships either. Given Crosswell's budget, I would imagine the state could stockpile such ships by the dozen. I assume this must be due to pressure from Erebonia and Calvert? Yes, exactly. Also, Erebonia, actually. They ran into trouble with LaBille's patrol ships 12 years ago. They take them much more seriously. I'm worried about what we do with patrol ships if we ever sided against them. Both the Empire and the Republic are very wary about letting Crosbell have any military power for this reason. Interesting. Wish that weren't the case, though. Being able to do our patrols with airships would be so much more efficient. Uh, you're not wrong. Guess I can't complain, though. Having a car is better than having to walk everywhere, at least. If you ever need a ride somewhere, just let me know. Be happy to take you wherever you need to go. As long as you can get there by car, that is. You can go anywhere in Cosmo State using no CGF vehicle for the duration of the day. Examine the Guardian Force vehicle and select your destination. Furthermore, in the case that you leave the CGF vehicle and travel by bus or on foot, you can board it again at the location it was left. Take care not to forget the location the vehicle is left at. If you're going to the ruins on the outskirts of the mountain path, you can select Mains Mountain Path Tunnel as a shortcut. Mines. Oh, we can rest here. We're going to rest in the car. Like an EP battery. So, oh my god, look at this menu. I want to go to the mining village then. Well, I finally got the car. So who is it we're supposed to visit here for this? Because we haven't done the sweep of this area yet. Uh, Miss Flora. Oh my goodness, this quest list is long. Mr. Alfred. Mr. Logie. Uh, Mr. Logie is down here? Not you. No, the road branches off in the tunnel on your way to mines. A few people swear they've been hearing some freaky bell ringing down that path recently. That area's pretty desolate, so it's a little creepy. I think Logie is down here, right? Or am I wrong? Is Logi this one? Nope, he's not here. Well, it's been as hard to work in the mine today. You know, mining isn't just important for us here in mines. It's crucial to the prosperity of Crosswell State as a whole. I can't help but feel proud of Max whenever I'm reminded of that. So I take it. It's probably actually mining. And that's going to lead us to some fun times. I didn't do the cathedral, though. I haven't done lots of places. This is like the patrol has been so long. <laughs> it's kind of baffling, but then we are questing. It's definitely not you, is it? We're not here anyway. They're all in the mines. Let's go into the mine. Mine, 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 mine. Excuse us, are you Logie? Yeah, who are you? Special support section. You see, we received a request from the library today. And it sounds like you have an overdue book you've been holding on to. Oh, so that's what this is about. Yeah, I still got it. According to the librarian, it is long past its due date. Why do you not return it on time? Ah, uh, because going all the way into the city is a pain. Doesn't miss his word, does he? Well, since you came all the way out here, you might as well take it back for me. I was actually reading on my break just a second ago and... Oh. Is something the matter? I've got to bring it back with me, so it's down the bottom of the mine. Sorry, but I'm swamped with work right now. Mind heading down there and help grabbing it for me? Thanks. Take those stairs down and follow the tunnel to the back of the mine. You should find it right away. That your laziness knows no bounds. You could give the CGF commander a run for his money in that sense. 
Well, I guess it's up to us. Let's go find it, everyone. Oh, I can tell you this at least. When you get pretty far down, just ignore the abandoned mine on the left. I know I didn't leave it in there. Right. Well, at least we know where it is. It's this way. There are a few monsters, granted. But they all should be too weak to actually fight me. So I'm going to go fast style. When it says the bottom, which way is the bottom again? <laughs> well, that's it. Paranormal Crossbell Collection. Oh, I finally found it. Judging by the title, this is no book I'd want to read. It apparently records supernatural phenomena that have occurred in Crossbell State. But given the title, I do not suspect it as that strong of a basis to confirm whether these events truly happened or not. That's like the kind of book you throw just to kill some time. You borrow, even. I believe you threw it down here. I believe there was a story in there that involved the Guardian Force, but I don't think any of that spooky stuff was ever formally substantiated. That'd be a hard pass from me either way. Well, now that we've successfully retrieved this book, we should... Oh! Oh! Oh, I did uh... Monsters? They blocked our exit. Here they come! Not just any monsters! The literal worst kind! Oh, what? I mean, I can spell them down as long as I don't hurt them too bad, right? I'm in danger! Yep. That is the truth of it. I feel like I just want to buff myself in certain ways here. Because this is going to be not fun. Oh, what? It can't be got by anything! Has a die of insects and at times humans triggers earthquakes when attacked. Okay, thank God that isn't an AoE. They're going for Lloyd. That'll be good. As B.A. gets out, so thank you very much. <laughs> Poor Lloyd. Alright, who do you want to start with? I kind of want to start with whichever one is, like, the ones that attacked you or the, the most delayed. We need to do some healing here. Doesn't work. Oh, well, what's the Sepif move, interestingly? And I'm not even sure if that's the best option. We could just do a straight up heal, right? Oh, yeah, but you didn't have them. Well, Chrono Down's not good. Chrono Up is good. Should probably just have you fireballing. Then if you could... Oh, what? You can't even do that to them, can we? Oh, I can't even 80 delay them. I get Tyr on Lloyd this turn. I don't think this is the time to unleash Tear Top because they'll all get hit and then they'll all, fun they'll all earthquake me and I might die. Unless I got something like Arts Up Defense, but then that would only work one time, most likely. This is going to be a very long battle. AoE is not the goal. Because every time we attack, that's what happens. Every time. Was it fire as their weakness? Are they just strong against it? Oh my goodness. What is this quest? I can't even kill them fast. Of course, they're charging through their chrono drive. 
See, I'd like to do a stronger attack, but it needs to be like on one opponent. It needs to be... Let's try to see how much damage Chaos... Oh, we can't even confuse anyway. This is terrible. I feel like we should just let Lloyd rock out his special. This is literally the worst possible outcome for us, I feel. Especially because Lloyd's the one with the best fire spell. See, the problem is, we can take them out fast, or we can take them out safe. At least Lloyd is Mr. Target. God, the one who's there is doing the thing next. If we could do something else to them, we could be fine, but unfortunately, that is not a thing for us. Buffing Lloyd's strength and then just let him do his special could be good. But yeah, this sucks! Most of my stuff hits to more than one target here, look. Really, I've just got to go in with my attacks. It's just too bad I can't get a speed that lasts more than three turns. I ain't dying anytime soon, is he? One shot. <laughs> uh, I can't get out beforehand. You get art reflect on one person, which could be cool, but they're immune to that anyway, aren't they? We can also buff our spells. Even that ain't great. Because of the amount of turns that... Of where the way buffs work as a whole. I think the best thing I can do here is use craft. On the one target. Can't delay him. I can't stop him quaking. One's down! If a critical turn comes Oh no! Randy! No, no! Randy, Randy, don't do it! Randy, no! Randy, no! Well, we got a group attack. That won't count, will it? Will it? Oh god. I see horrible, horrible things in my future here. Oh yeah, you only had to hit three of them, right, Randy? Great job with that. Good job, Randy. Oh, I, I, this is a group attack now. I guess that's probably better than what I could have done, to be honest with you. I don't know if I can take the damage successfully is the main issue. Uh, 
But now I'm definitely taking probably damage from plus two. You damn right I'm gonna... Did I just mess my critical up? Oh my goodness, I did. Lloyd, I need you to kill this thing. Pretty please? And I thought I was off on a hunt for library books. <laughs> right, so does Randy's attack... Yes. Randy's attack does indeed <laughs> cause death to all. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could take multiple yes. damage. I definitely don't want to find out if I can or can't. Even Fortuna didn't really help that much. Okay, which one's the lowest? You? We're down two. We'll be able to go in quite a bit higher once there's less. I can definitely survive attacks from three at once. That is a truth. Why does it have to work like this with the ATS stat, man? Did he gain HP again? I mean, I already have, like... Ooh. All of the hatred from Sky for beings like this. I didn't need anything additional. Even with ATS up, that's not doing much. Right, we're obviously going to get hit by one guy in a second. worst enemies to ever exist. I hate them. I hate them so much. Give me a critical now. I will launch Tio at them. I will launch Tio at them so hard. They should have been over by now. No, probably shouldn't. Oh, one of them is dead now. Just to point that out, we are good for that. One of them is indeed going to die shortly. I think Spark Dine will do more damage. So let me just hit the Spark Dine here. See how much it does. Wait, when's Lloyd's attack going off? After this guy's attack? Oh, couldn't he? Goodness me. I know Dio can defeat that guy in that fast. Just looking at the HP values here. Understand that we might be in trouble from some people here there. Why did I just do a five on that guy? <laughs> Lloyd's gonna do it first, and then the attack's gonna change to another target entirely. Am I dying now? Yeah. 
Okay, and then there were two. It's a little more damage, I guess. So where's this gonna go? The correct target? Good. That's who I want. Are Lloyd's on a critical? That means Tia's on a critical, yes. right? It stresses me out. Randy was about to go off and trigger the move anyway. So what would the difference have really been? Okay, we can survive too. This should kill one. Well, that was hell. That was hell. I hate those things. They're Pemphis G, Abyss Worms, whatever name you want to give them. They're terrible. Hatred. Five human chills, though. 